Hello everybody and welcome back to Prototype Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a slime farm. As you can see by the slime in my hand. This is a very simple and compact uh, farm. I'm pretty sure it's the only farm out there, really. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, yeah, it's really simple to make. Uh, you can even extend it if you want to make it for uh, two uh, slime... What's it called? <laughs> slime chunks, sorry. My brain's not working that well today. But uh, anyways, let's just get into how to build this thing. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a uh, slime chunk. Now, there's a couple ways of doing this. Um, the, one is just literally going out, mining out a bunch of areas, and hoping that you find a slime chunk by just slime spawning there. Uh, but an easier way that a lot of people like to do is use a website called Chunkbase that will be linked in the, uh, the description. And if you follow the link, you'll be able to find a uh, slime chunk that's in your world if you just put in the seed and you can look for the coordinates. But right now, I'm going to assume that you have found a slime chunk, and uh, I'm just going to be showing you how to build this. So in your world, you're going to need to actually probably mine out a lot of this area, but I'm going to show you how it should look, basically. So just to put out the basic outline, I'm going to press F3 and G so that it'll show me the borders of the chunks. So now what you're gonna need is to come up a little ways. So like this level for you guys would be bedrock. So I'd come up one, two, three. And then I would start to just build out a platform that just goes through the entire chunk. So a 16 by 16 area. All right, so now that you've done that, you're you're pretty much able to just turn off the F3 and G thing just by, again, pressing F3 and G at the same time. Uh, and so now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to light up this platform. Now, the reason why we're going to light this up is because we only want slime spawning, none of the other mobs like skeleton, enderman, stuff like that. And slimes can spawn at literally any light level doesn't matter what light level it is, they'll spawn. And so now if you're doing this in vanilla Minecraft, you don't have to worry about this next step, but for anybody who's doing it, like say in a creative world to test, you're going to want to build walls around the uh, around the platform. That way, no slimes fall off, and I would make this three high, like so. And so on one wall, you're going to only want to go up by six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to want to stop there. Go, just skip two. And you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. So, oh, my mistake. You're going to get rid of more than that. There you go. That should be good. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there should be four empty spaces in the middle. All right, so I'm just going to take a couple minutes just to finish putting the walls around this, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so now that you have built this little box, what you're going to want to do is in this four uh, wide gap that you left for the walls, you're going to want to build out one, two, three, four, and you're going to want to break the first three blocks like so, and you're going to want to just build out a platform that is uh, two by three. And again, you're going to want to have walls going around uh, this area. So for now, I'm just going to put it for glass so you guys are able to see better for the tutorial. Uh, so yeah, just put some glass around it or stone or whatever the heck you want, and it should work fine. All right, so now you're going to want to grab some fences. You're going to want to put them along right there. You want to get four iron blocks and one carved pumpkin and boom, iron golem. And you most likely will want to put some torches here so that no mobs will spawn on this platform either. So that it won't take up the mob cap and so that they won't uh, beat this guy. Alright, so next you're just going to make sure that these walls are connected in some way. As long as they look kind of like this so they're perfectly straight, that's good. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go one block down. So right here, that's where the iron golem's standing. This is where you want to be. And you're going to place some magma just filling in this gap. Like so. See that? Boom. And you're most likely going to want to cover that up as well to make sure that you don't lose any slime balls. All right, so now it's time to talk about the, uh, uh, not the, containing, the storage system. So basically right down here you want to build a platform out like so 
and because mine cards can be a little buggy sometimes you most likely will want to put uh, the uh, put it out one more like this and you're gonna want to get a rail and start putting them all along here now these don't have to be fully powered rails I'd recommend not using fully powered rails because that could get expensive especially early game uh, and you're just gonna want to make sure that everything's covered like so uh, you're probably gonna want like redstone blocks right here that's probably the best way to power these guys but if you have another way it doesn't really matter as long as it doesn't uh, you don't put anything around here because that could mess with uh, it picking up items and so now you're most likely gonna want to come up here a little bit uh, and bring it into a storage system so your storage system can be basically whatever you want but for now I'm just gonna leave it as literally just I need hopper but I'm just gonna leave it like this again yours may look different and most likely will uh, just for simplicity's sake I'm just gonna create uh, just gonna make it look like this and there you go you have a fully functional slime farm uh, as you can see the slimes may just kind of waddle around at the beginning before they actually see the iron golem but now he sees them I think he may just be jumping on the wall hey hey it's your friend there we go he saw him he's jumping in the iron golem will also help whack him and there you, go. you can see that they're actually dropping the slime balls pretty quickly and now if you just put a minecart into the system boom it's all getting picked up oh I should have put a block at the end <laughs> yeah that's something I should have done alright so that's how you build it this is probably the simplest version of it if you want to you could extend this a couple more layers high until uh, Y level 40 after Y level 40 if you do this the mobs will not spawn so you see uh, the coordinate on the X Y uh, it's gonna say for me it says 10 if it hits 40 you are done you can't do any more platforms and now if you want to stack this farm literally all you gotta do create another platform right here I'm not gonna do the whole thing I'm just gonna put an outline uh, like so literally this is all you have to do uh, and then you have to put the iron golem level with that level just like this exact same thing and you can build that all the way up to Y level 40 again and that's how you build this farm so I'm now going to show you how to make a uh, dual uh, slime chunk uh, slime farm because those those are pretty good they get you a lot more than just a singular one just because more can spawn alright so this is a dual uh, chunk dual slime chunk farm so that there are two chunks that are connected to each other that are going to be pumping out slimes this has been running for a little while and I've already got look at this three double chests worth and probably a lot more in the hoppers uh, of course this is gonna be more productive than most farms because well I'm in a flat biome uh, not flat biome flat world and the floor is literally glass so nothing will spawn um, so yeah you're gonna want to get two uh, slime chunks for this one and right in the middle you're gonna to want to make a four by four so two on each side of the border uh, and then four like again like this and there we go you're gonna to want to put an iron golem right in the middle of it and this is gonna be right in the middle of the slime chunk so one two three four five six seven so it'll be your number seven block and you're gonna to want to make a three wide gap right here where you can fall down the collection system can be whatever you want for this one I put down fireplaces with a ton of hoppers uh, if you're in a survival world, you'll most likely want to do the same sort of thing that I did in the original one that I showed you, where you have a minecart. That's probably the fastest, uh, well, not the fastest, probably the best uh, storage system. Not st Dang, why am I saying this? Collection system that you can use when you have a dual, uh, you know, dual spawner. Sp oh my god, okay, I can't work today. Okay, I'm going to end it there. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I am currently in the process of doing a Minecraft survival series where I'm probably going to be going over a lot more farms and everything. So if you're interested in whatever the heck that is, because that's freaking crazy, uh, then uh, let me know. Or let me know just by subscribing and liking the video. Honestly, that's very much appreciated. 
So until next time, I'll see you later.